Hi everyone, it's Deborah. I want to talk about what I have to do to get ready for my surgery. One of the things is to read, read this front and back. All these instructions, all that in there, reams of instructions. But before you go in the hospital, people, bring your mask. Okay. I've done almost everything except the COVID test, which they want done exactly three days before surgery. And then I can't really hang around anybody uh, before surgery. Now, the night of surgery, I've got to wash with this. And then the next morning, I got to take another bath and another, another bottle. This is like Hibby Cleanse, in case you don't know what it is. Also, three days before, I've got to swab my nose with this. Now, what the doctor recommended, we did not carry at our neighborhood pharmacy, so I had to get him to substitute this. It goes in my nose with a with a swab. Like, I have to do it three times every day for three days. And, uh, yeah, I've got to drive two hours for my COVID test where they stick the Q-tip halfway in my brain. But look what I found, people. Look at this. And this wonderful. This is just great. This goes right in your pocket. The Biofreeze. It's 10% menthol. It's the highest concentration of menthol that you can get. And I'm going to put one right here. Okay. So, that's great. Uh, now, my pain level. They wanted to know my pain level. And it is... This at a, it's at a seven, <clears throat> but it's only at a seven when I'm walking upstairs or bending over, then it shoots up like, oh my God, I'm always at a four because of the six rods in my back. I'm, yeah, I'm always at a four, but when I'm tired, that pain level will shoot up to a seven and I try not to bend over, but I've got no one to help me in this house. My children are in Florida. Mm. So, it's very hard. A lot, I hear a lot of men and women on the hip replacement, um, I guess, group on Facebook. And they are going, they are so lucky to have a spouse or someone to take care of them. I have no one. I have no one. Uh, so I really don't like, um, I don't like anybody coming to my house and saying, you need to do this or that or that because I can't do it, people. I can't. All of my energy is spent just getting up, keeping my hygiene up, and going to work. Yeah, that's where all my energy goes, people. You know, the last time my daughter visited me, I picked her up in Waldorf and I said, please don't criticize anything in my house when you get there. Well, of course, that's all she did was criticize, right? People don't criticize old people. We do the best that we can, okay? We do the best we can. And I've noticed a very bad trend I'm having. If I can't cook a meal in two minutes, I'm not, I'm not going to eat. Last night, I didn't even fix dinner because I don't have anything that I can fix in two minutes. So it looks like it's going to be a lot of TV dinners. Um, I'll have to choose some that are not so high in sodium, I guess. Mm. But yesterday, I did fall out of a chair. I don't know if I told you already, but... It was a chair that everybody sits in when we're really, really tired at work. And it, we know that it's got a bad wheel. It needs an adjustable wrench to, to, to uh, screw it on tighter. But nobody's done that yet. I keep telling people. Well, it, I fell out. I fell on the floor. It, the chair just went out from underneath of me. And three people had to pick me up. Now, people, if you fall the wrong way with six rods in your back and a right hip replacement, you know, I could be paralyzed. So... I tried to tell this to my brother when we were uh, tubing on the Seneca Lake. He wanted me on that raft. I wanted to get on it so much. I think I'd only been on one my, you know, my whole life. It was so much fun, but I can't risk that. I mean, I don't even, I used to be an avid skier. I owned a, a ski chalet in Wintergreen uh, in Virginia, and I 
took to it immediately. I didn't even need any instruction. I mean, I could stop dead on the intermediate slope with the pizza slice, just stop dead and stay there for hours. My legs are very, very strong. I've never had a broken bone, even though I've been in six car accidents. That's pretty, that's pretty miraculous. Yeah, my bones are very strong. Mm. So, I only do all this stuff, people, because I have a sister who's already passed. And she can't do anything because she's gone. But look, these are, these are just some of my bracelets. Look at this. These are some of my bracelets, and um, I just, man, I got some beautiful ones. Look at this. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. This, they're all, for, one, one's falling apart, of course. This is just beautiful. This is, I wear when I go to formal attire, but this is the one that's just broken. Look at that poor thing. Uh, yeah, it's not very organized. This watch, I have, I wear this for Valentine's. Oh, look, this is from an earring from my dress shop. The other one's in the thing, in the, my earring holder. This one is, I call it my Chinese watch. This is another one. It's got great, looks like, I always just call it my Chinese watch. And look at this one. This is beautiful. Now, all these are from Chico's. I like looking at them. There we go. I have tons of Chico watches. And here's another one of my favorite. I like this one too. Uh, oh, as you see, this one fell apart. I buy a lot in the islands. This coral one fell apart. Actually, I love this one. I wear, I've worn this one a lot. The people don't wear... Um, you know, people don't wear watches so much because they all have, you know, a smartphone. So, all right. And this is to put your keys in. If you're going underwater, it'll float, hopefully. Right? You hope that it floats. And, oh, this one broke, too. I've worn this one a lot. Nothing lasts forever, people. But take care of what you got. So, I, like I said, my suitcase is still in my car. From New York, I have a lot of videos I still haven't put up, people. So be patient. I might put them all up tonight. Um, so God bless all of you. And in case I don't make it in surgery, I have enjoyed my YouTube channel immensely. In the beginning, I got a lot of hate because a lot of the men going their own way, I call them MIG toes. They didn't like the fact that I put up to help women get spouse emergency spouses support. You, even men can get that, okay? That's how stupid some of these guys are. Guys, you can get it too, okay? If you were a stay-at-home dad, yeah, you can get emergency spouses support yourself. See, these are guys who don't know the law, they don't care to get informed. Uh, yeah, because my divorce took, I think, seven years. What was I supposed to do? Not eat for seven years? Yeah, so people, you can get emergency spouse support. Now, I think I put it on private because I was getting so much hate. But I reported them. I did. I reported them uh, because... Uh, Death threats are to be taken serious, uh, and the FBI takes that serious, people. Mm -hmm. So, people, it is all about education is power, if you're educated. So many times in my life, I have been screwed by the best because I was not informed, I was not educated. But like every night for like two hours, I, I do so much research research, you know, because you got to, you got to be smart in today's time. You can't go around, you know, letting everybody screw you. Yeah. So I will take one more drink and then get on the road. Bye everyone.
Hey everyone, I'm on my way to the hospital for my COVID test. I just passed by my grandson who was at the 7-Eleven and his grandfather's, one of his grandfather's trucks. His car's transmissions broke. Then I go further down the road and I see my ex-husband's entire well, one of his crews. He has three crews. Evidently, we had a storm last night, and there's trees on people's houses. So, the competitor in, in my little town, uh, everybody thinks he's, like, the greatest. Well, please, he's always in court for violating, uh, I guess, the... the uh, I guess it's the inland fisheries. I don't know, but we have a lot of codes, violating codes. Because if, if since everything around me is on the water, if you take down a tree next to the water, there are certain stipulations you have to adhere to. And he's always in court, our, the competitor in my little town. Yeah, so everybody thinks he's the Mac Daddy, but uh, I help my ex-husband get his certified arborist so there's a big difference between that and a guy who just freaking tops trees if some if a tree guy wants to top your tree honey he's not a professional you never top a tree that's when you just give it like this crew cut the best way to deal with a tree is to do a class two pruning and that is when you go in there and you just trim anything that's littler than like your little finger um, because what happens when you top a tree, it'll get the witch's broom and that actually weakens the tree more than anything. You want to keep all the big limbs and you want the wind to go through the tree. If you know what I mean, you want it to go through the tree. That's why you do a class two pruning. It's a little hard to understand, but you should never take more than a third off a tree. And when you're topping, sometimes you're taking a little bit more than a third because it, it just looks ugly to people. It looks really ugly. Uh, so if you got a tree man that wants to um, top your tree, you better go get a couple more estimates, people. So I just FaceTimed my daughter and her friend is in severe pain she used the fascia blaster which is I have the same thing and, and it's supposed to like reduce your cellulite but because it looks so wicked I hide it under my bed everybody thinks it's a sex toy but it's not okay so it it actually makes me feel better improves your circulation well she thinks she did it too aggressively on her back and she says she has a pinched nerve well about I guess six years ago I had severe heart pain. Oh, sorry, I got found in my boob. Okay, I had severe heart pain. I went to the hospital, they gave me morphine, Dilaudid, Demerol, everything. Nothing cut the pain. That's when they came back and they go, oh, we think you have a pinched nerve. Because pinched nerves, uh, I don't think it, it takes pain medication very well because it's still there. So they gave me prednisone. The pain went away immediately. So I told my daughter to tell her friend that, that uh, if she's got a pinched nerve, prednisone has uh, helped me a lot. So, yeah, we had a very bad s storm last night. And uh, my ex-husband, I just told, I just confirmed everything about Monday. And he says he's got a lot of trees on people's houses and garages, so. Um, yeah, so he's very, very busy. All right, I better get off here and start paying attention.